people need to stop doing this and start doing this. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna show you what not to do. You always see people holding reflectors below the person, kind of reflecting light up. Almost as if, like in the studio, you normally have your main softbox hitting light, and then you put a reflector underneath because that's your main light and the reflector's just giving a kick. However, when you're using a reflector, that becomes your main light. So, we're gonna take this and we're gonna do what everyone does. We're gonna put it here by Michelle, and we're gonna give her that beautiful, absolutely terrible ghost lighting. Check this out. Beautiful. So Michelle looks great, but we've got some super strange lighting. And although like most people would look at this and go, oh wow, look, there's lighting. It's just, it looks good because it looks better than without it. So let me show you without anything, how a natural light photographer would do this. This is natural light, same settings. You're gonna see Michelle's face is too dark. If I expose for her face, it looks like you've got nice, soft, natural light. However, it just doesn't look so good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, same reflector, <laughs> the white side of the reflector, and what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do it properly. I'm gonna turn the reflector higher up. Essentially what we're doing now is we're gonna actually be placing it in the same place that you'd put a soft box. If you'd use a soft box, you'd put a soft box nice and high, getting light coming from top down, giving you a more natural look. It's a little bit harder when you don't have an assistant um, because you just go that way a bit. The sun's moving, so there we go. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, there we go. Now we've got more light. So the sun's moving a bit. It's a little bit harder to chase it when you're not working with an assistant. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. And now when you look at those two side by side, you can quickly see that the light is super unnatural when it comes from the bottom. And then just for argument's sake, I'm gonna flip this over to the gold side quickly, because a lot of people like using the gold side. Now, you do get a gold side and a silver side. And obviously the silver side is more natural light and the gold side gives you the golden hour look so when you use the gold side, I'm gonna show you now, the gold side's obviously a lot brighter, so check this out. Beautiful. And the skin tone starts to look quite unnatural. Hold that for me quickly. While the sun's here, we're gonna flip it back into the white side, just so that we know we're getting the exact same reflection at the same time. And this is just the white side. So the silver side is obviously way, way too blue and it kind of gives you this like fake white kind of look. Beautiful. And now when you look at that, you can see it makes a huge difference. So I'll put all three side by side. I'll do the wrong way on the left. We'll do the right way in the middle and the gold on the right hand side. Now the gold does have its place, but unfortunately this is not its place. Okay, next up we have sunlight. Now, a lot of people like using sunlight coming onto someone. However, it's a little bit harsh. Obviously, if the light's dappled, maybe, but I'm gonna show you a different way to use, obviously, a reflector to make this scenario look really nice. The nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about really positioning the reflector too perfect to get it. So, I'm gonna take two, three shots quickly. I'm gonna have Michelle to bring her hair to this side so that we get a lot of sunlight on her face. So, check this out. Now, I have to try and expose so that, obviously, the highlights aren't too blown out, but then obviously her shade is in the dark. Her, <laughs> <laughs> but then obviously the other side of her face is in the shadow, which makes it like way too dark. Beautiful. Okay, so now check this out. All right, so now <laughs> nearly took you out. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the five in one. Well, it's the four side of it. And we're just gonna pop on this diffuser that's on the middle. So this we're gonna get rid of. Give it to Michelle. And this we're gonna clip on here. 
And all that we've actually done now is much like the direct flash on Michelle, which would be the sun in this case, we're putting that light in a softbox and diffusing it through this. This is actually what they use a lot of times in the movies when they are outside uh, and it's shot during the day. It looks like super beautiful and you wonder how sunlight looks like that. This is how. I'm gonna drop the shutter speed just a little bit because obviously we've diffused some of that light. And now when you look at this, oh gosh, this is beautiful. Love that, hold that there. Now look towards the light for me. Just there. Yeah, move your hair out. Look towards the light. Beautiful. Now when it comes to light like this, hold on. Now when it comes to light like this, this is honestly the best way to work with sunlight using a diffuser like this. Now this obviously is shooting half body because this is a smaller reflector. It's probably about a, a one meter, 90 centimeter somewhere there, but you do get much larger reflectors. Now those larger reflectors are great for video work or doing full bodies, much, much easier. I'll put a little before and after over here that you guys can have a look at. You can see the difference. Difference is absolutely huge between these two. And this is probably one of the best ways to use a reflector, obviously, if you have the time to quickly set this up, this is the best way to get good lighting. If you have one of those monster, like two meter, I think they're two meter, but like 1.5 meter, and you can put that up even with two light stands or a scrim, you can shoot an entire wedding in sunlight. And what's nice is you're getting a lot of light onto the subject, so you don't have to overexpose your background, which allows you a little bit more dynamic range in the actual shot, and you can pull out better colors. Like I said, the five in one reflector on the goal side is kind of useless. However, there is a very cool way that you can actually use this. And the biggest problem is during the day, you got golden hour. Unfortunately, when golden hour actually shines and you use it behind someone, they are silhouetted. And if you put a reflector in front of them, you get a golden look on their face. And what happens is then the look behind and the look at the front matches. So you essentially put in a gold light on the back and a gold light on the front. Not really ideal unless you use the silver side of the reflector, but it's not the point of this. Basically what we're doing here is the sun is now behind where you guys are looking from. So the sun is shining on Michelle's face. She's in some shade of the tree in some dappled light. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the gold reflector, put it in the sun at the back and get some beautiful like kicker light on her hair. So check this out. We're gonna move this over here maybe just out of frame and I'm going to just keep turning it until I get, there we go, on the back of Michelle. So first things first, that's what it looks like. Okay, first things first, we're going to photograph Michelle natural light, just like that, beautiful. So she's in the shade, some dappled light of the sun, and that's the look. Now, we're going to turn the reflector so that it just gets a bit of kicker light on the back of her, over there. Now we can do exactly the same shot, but with some hair light, and now you're gonna see there's a bit of like a golden touch on her hair and her skin from the back. And now you can see we've essentially taken like a pretty flat looking light, which is shade from the front and used the reflector to give a little bit of a kick and add that hair light to it. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at using a five in one reflector properly. Uh, there's a ton of ways to use a five in one reflector, whether it be the silver side, gold side, but I really wanted to point out the fact that so many people still using reflectors like this. I see them at weddings where people are literally holding this underneath the bride's face and the shots look atrocious. Please stop doing it. Reflections from the bottom are only used when you've got a super strong key light from the top in a studio and you're just trying to take that harsh shadow away from underneath. But having the sun behind someone and bringing that key light from the bottom and giving them that like kind of it slash insidious kind of evil horror vibe is terrible. So that's it from me, wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good evening, good night. Goodbye. You have to say it, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>